Hello, my name is Carly Forte and I am a co-executive director for New Voices Opera. It is my pleasure to welcome you to our annual opera exhibition online for the very first time. Even in the face of a pandemic, we received fantastic submissions from composers and could not be more excited to share this new music with you today. It's our goal at NVO to think outside of the box regarding obstacles like COVID-19 in order to create emergent, relevant opera. We are thrilled to announce that this coming spring, we will be producing a filmed opera of John William Griffith's The Jungle based on the novel by Upton Sinclair. For more information on The Jungle or NVO, please visit newvoicesopera.org. Thank you so much and please enjoy the program.
Hello, my name is Duncan Holshall, and I am the artistic director of New Voices Opera. Now, in case you haven't noticed, this is a slightly different format for our fall exhibition, and that is because we are in a slightly different world than just a year ago. <laughs> in all reality and seriousness, the COVID-19 pandemic has caused a lot of arts organizations to rethink their programming strategies and approaches for their upcoming seasons. New Voices Opera not excluded from that. Ultimately, the uh, idea of a virtual exhibition was daunting at first. None of us are particularly inclined technologically, and there were still a lot of variables as we went into it that we had to figure out along the way. But this is not a, not a unique battle. This is a battle that arts organizations across the world have been reckoning with over the past months. Ultimately, the idea of the virtual exhibition was best for us because we felt that it supported our artists in keeping them safe while providing performing opportunities during this difficult time. It has helped our audiences by providing an increasing access to contemporary opera and potentially reaching new audiences that a live performance wouldn't have the ability to. And ultimately, as an organization, it taught us a lot about teamwork, about accountability, and ultimately held us accountable for our mission of presenting innovative, relevant opera. So we are very happy and pleased to be presenting the X to you all today. Now, one common thread you might have noticed so far across the program, and will continue to notice, is that all of the pieces are played uh, by our illustrious collaborative pianist, Maya King. And don't worry, we're best friends, so we're in each other's quarantine pod. No need to worry about that. <laughs> so Maya, first off, thank you so much for being so willing to participate in the X as an artist. It truly means so much to us as Absolutely. an organization. Yeah. So can you talk a little bit about preparing a lot of new music all at once and that sort of experience? Sure. Um, I remember specifically you had emailed me all of the rep and said in your email body, are you willing to play all of this? And my immediate response was, sure, why not? And to uh, my own uh, fault, you know, I agreed to this before looking at all of the music, a mistake I learned from. However, challenge accepted. Mm -hmm. I took the music immediately to Dr. Pestanari, who is a coach, a collaborative pianist here on faculty at Jacobs. I work with him every week and I was like, this takes priority right now compared to all of my other X2 assignments I'm working on because I have three weeks to learn about an hour's worth of weird, mm -hmm. difficult, challenging music. So I brought it to him and he showed me some shortcuts on how to learn music very quickly and yeah it was a lot of work and I had to prioritize my time with like which rehearsal was coming first mm -hmm. I looked at that music first mm -hmm. and then would like move on to the next music after the preceding rehearsal had ended and just a lot of time management yeah so wonderful now what are some of the challenges that learning new music presents versus, you know, performing Brahms or Mozart or some of those older artists? Right. Well, any, I, I've done quite a bit of just classical music and basically every like shortcut I've learned with that goes completely out the window <laughs> with new music. Um, I w like was shocked by the complexities of rhythms not to mention just working with a conductor for the first time, because usually I just work one on one with another mm -hmm. vocalist. So taking into account multiple parts, long sections of rest and me having to count, which has been really good practice for me. But it also like those shortcuts I'm mentioning involved like writing in the counts of every bar just so I could stay with it. Wonderful. So, in addition to that, like any previous like just standard chord shapes and like expectations of chords also out the window so to help with that i literally just wrote in note names all over the place of like 
after like lots of ledger line reading and I just I had to write in all the pitches next to the notes. Yeah, that's that is wild. It helped a lot. And then there would be like similar chord shapes like in this measure and in the, like the following measure just an octave up. So I would just like draw an arrow and like write the same thing just so I could know like so I wouldn't have to like read this block of nine notes. Mm -hmm. In a matter of two seconds. Yeah, it's so. it's a lot of, like, making a puzzle when you don't know what the picture is exactly. Exactly. And not until, you know, we would rehearse and record all on rehearsal one. So, just being able to go over the pieces that fresh and in the moment, like, I just had to be so quick about, like adding in new notations as I was like learning the music while rehearsing and learning the music while recording. Mm -hmm. So now what has been like the significance to you personally about being able to make music and perform even virtually during this time? Well, it's honestly been so refreshing to work with musicians in a larger group setting you know mm -hmm. I think the most we had at one point was like seven or eight on one of the works mm -hmm. so just being able to make music again with a large group of people has kind of just like ignited that spark of like collaborating that I love so much so that was really nice I mean we were doing it safely which also you know we had limited rehearsal space and I couldn't just say like hey like this uh, let's just go down to the practice room and work this out together on our own time. Like, we didn't have that. So it was, mm -hmm. again, learning how to do things on the spot and quickly. So it's been hugely rewarding to have this opportunity to work with musicians like this and a great, just awesome learning experience for me. So yes. thank you again for, like, being willing to ask me, <laughs> who's never done anything like this before, to take on this role trust me none of us have done anything like this maya thank you so much once again for all of your contributions Absolutely. and hope you guys stick around to watch her play some more on the back half of the program we have an even bigger production in the works for spring 2021 i know i speak for our whole team when i say we're very excited to share that content with you as always if you'd like to show your support we welcome any and all donations made through our website, newvoicesopera.org. After clicking Donate under the More tab, you can follow the on-screen prompts to complete everything. Your gift will go toward our performers, technical assistants, and others who are helping us bring this music to life.
And come. 